Cannabis plants contain over a hundred active chemicals known as cannabinoids. Most of them are found in the flower of the plant rather than the leaves. Two key compounds are THC, which is psychoactive. It produces the high which recreational users are seeking. The other is CBD or cannabidiol, which is not psychoactive. Now, both those compounds are used to create medicines. GW Pharmaceuticals produces 300 tons of cannabis plants each year under license from the government to produce two cannabis-derived medicines, one for multiple sclerosis, the other for childhood epilepsy. So how does what's produced here differ from other cannabis products? Well, you can buy cannabis oil in health food shops, but it's not pharmaceutical grade, so you can't be certain of its strength or consistency. And cannabis drugs produced in the Netherlands, Canada or elsewhere are not licensed regulated medicines, so they haven't undergone stringent clinical trials. Firstly, it should make it easier for doctors to prescribe cannabis medicines. Secondly, it'll be easier to do research into the potential benefits of compounds derived from cannabis. And thirdly, it should be easier to bring cannabis medicines into the UK. Cannabis remains an illegal Class B drug, so the production, possession and dealing of cannabis are still criminal offences. Anyone growing this lot at home would risk a jail term.